Nick Saban called Alabama's 2021 season a rebuilding year. And people laughed, of course, on social media. And they all took their jabs and whatever, whatever. But Saban was not wrong about this. Yes, they played for a national title. Yes, they won the SEC. Yes, there were a lot of different things that would make you believe it was not a rebuilding year. But the truth of the matter is, uh, the offensive line was a disaster. Uh, They had a transfer wide receiver that led them in receiving yards. None of the freshmen wide receivers stepped up. You had a bunch of injuries at running back and in the secondary. You had a first-year starter at quarterback, so nobody knew exactly how that was going to work out. Uh, You just had a lot of problems with this team last year. And you can, of course, point to the fact that they went 11-1 and in the regular season, and their postgame win expectancy actually gave them 9.06 wins. So this, on paper, at the end of the season, all stats thrown in looked more like a 9-3 and team as opposed to an 11-1 and team that ended up playing for and winning the SEC championship. So Nick Saban is not wrong there, but it does... There's a big reason why, at the end of last season, everybody, eh, maybe not everybody, a lot of people talked about the fact that this was maybe Nick Saban's best coaching job because he had to coach that team differently than he's had to coach other teams in the past. Now, heading into this season, it looks like this team might be a little different than last season's team, right? You did lose you know, a few guys. I think there were seven NFL draft picks. But on top of that, you have a different temperament. As far as the players on the team, you have leaders that have now stepped up, etc. You didn't know exactly who was going to be the leaders of the team last year. You got all that heading into this season. Uh, this looks like it's going to be a somewhat vintage Nick Saban team, one that he is happy to be coaching, that he doesn't have to change a whole lot himself and try to figure out throughout the season. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.